My first question is about the, the conference itself. I know that it's just the beginning, but how do you estimate this conference? So it's very, very important that we have the conference. It's a conference of the Department of Chemical Workers Union within the Industrial Global Union. And um, my point of view is that we have to have go deeper into the issues of the different branches. And so here, trade unions from around the world will discuss the shift of uh, the worldwide uh, development of the, of, of the chemical industry. For example, in the last 10 years, uh, there was a shift to Asia, uh, looking on the production capacity and also the market. Uh, and so there's increasing numbers of employees in, in Asia. So we need to develop also structures for trade union movement in Asia. This is one example. You can also look to South America or to the US after they have the shell gas boom. So. The, the, the issues of uh, the development of the chemical industry have to be created uh, by trade union side and so this conference will take a very big step forward I think uh, for interconnect our discussion around the world. Okay, um, and then what, how do you estimate in principle the perspective of the chemical industry? Well, at the end of the day, we have a growing population around the world. We need chemical products and we need innovation because the older chemical industry have only mass production. So now we need um, very specified products which help to, to create solutions for the world's big question. For example, hunger around the world. We have these climate change issues. So without innovation from the chemical industry, I can imagine that we solve these problems. So at the end of the day, it's not only about growth and markets and so on and so on. It's also about uh, having solution for big future issues and so we are working for a better world in a, in a different shape. And if we switch from the global world to Europe, what is the perspective then for the European community? Well, chemical industry in, in, in uh, Europe and especially in Germany has a long tradition. So we're looking on 150 years of uh, successful um, develops within the chemical industry. But we are now sharing some of these developments. So increasing Asia um, share of, of the world market. But we have found fields of production of products and market where we can bring out our strengths in. So for example, we have a network of industrial innovation within Germany, these different sectors working on solutions. So what we have found a new product which are more complex than the old classical chemical Products. So at the end of the day, it's um, it's, a, it's a new it's, it's a new development around the world, and Europe have its share. On the other hand, as you know, Europe is facing a very big crisis. So looking on Europe, you can see that we are concentrating the chemical industry in some parts of Europe, for example, Germany. So it's nice for the Germans, but at the end of the day, we have to discuss how we can stabilize Europe. So now we're discussing about a program to invest in uh, the, the European, also in the, crisis, in, the, in the countries which are hit by the crisis, to um, stabilize European movement. So we have on the, one, on the one hand sunshine and on the other hand rain, so we are in big changes. So for me it's an advantage and we have some challenges, but at the end of the day trade unions want to, to bring in their opinion and press uh, also the society, the government and the, the companies to look on the future issues. So I hope that we will be successful also within all the European countries. You mentioned in the beginning uh, Germany, and actually this uh, suggests uh, what, a, what is in perspective for the Germany itself. Well, at the moment we are very successful. Some of the Germans are surprised that we are very successful because looking 20 years back, we have a, a debate if Germany's industrial future is over. So at the end of the day, what we have done is to, to, to sit together at the table and ask ourselves what we have to do. And what we have in Germany is the culture and also the right to bring different views on one table. For example, the trade unions are sitting in the supervisory boards of companies because we have the right to do this. The trade unions have an, 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 an right to discuss with the government. And so also there are some open ears. Uh, so we have structures to bring in different forces within society. Um, we have company leaders, we have also a feeling for sustainability and responsibility. Um, uh, so we have a very special um, framework where we have activated to bring 
uh, f future to Germany's industry. So at the, at the moment we have success and it is fine. But uh, very, very important is not to stop this process, to go ahead. So one thing is, for example, that Germany is an Asian society, a very fast Asian society. So if you are looking on products, processes, which are very, very complex, you need high educated people, you need to invest into education. On the other side, you get an Asian society, so you have a problem. So uh, we have, we're facing new problems. For 20 years, we have faced unemployment as the main political issue. Now we are facing um, the demographic change, some environment issues where we, we want to, to, to get through, for example, climate change or energy policy, where we have special ideas, but we have open questions, and so on and so on. So at the end of the day, we have new challenges, and we have to do it in our way to sit together, think about solutions, and not to fight against. I hope that this successful path will go also to in the future, the trade union want to be part of it, and we press also the uh, the management of, in, in the companies and the government not to sleep now because we have success. So we look ahead for the next generation uh, of uh, people who want to have work, who want to have education, who have good families, good life. It sounds like good perspective, but how about the union itself? What are the challenges well, the, now? Well, the union. Okay, so on, on the one hand, we are growing in. Uh, within the companies. On the other hand, we have also a, an aging membership. So our success from the 60s and 70s is now reaching uh, uh, the pension age. So on the one hand, we are aging organization. On the other hand, we have very successful. Uh, we are very successful to organize the youth people. So at the end of the day, we are on a, on a path to stabilize our membership. On the other hand, we are facing. This is very new, new kinds of, of, of trade union. Well, as I already mentioned, we are a trade union to try to have a political view. We have to have responsibility for the society. We have a responsibility within the companies. And so we balance out um, t today's policy with t for t tomorrow's policy. There are some kind of new uh, trade union which are only focused on very, very small amount of special membership, for example, IT people or so on, and they are looking on the maximum output uh, in negotiation and so on. So when we, when we compare it to the, to the companies, this is profit maximizing on, on a trade union view. And this is not very solidarity, uh, solidarity view. It's, it's only focused on one group and they do the maximum point for them. So this is not our view of trade union, but we, we can see there are small, there is only in some special areas um, successful, but they, are reach, they reach a level of where they have um, some, some point of success. So we fighting for our model for trade union to have an, a balanced and solid, solidary uh, policy making for all the people uh, and inequality. And so we also, within the trade union, have some challenges. But at the end of the day, looking on the industrial sector, this is uh, very important, we are stable and more and more successful. Looking on some of precarious branches, they are a different, different point. So we have a lot of pro problems to, to organize people in, in, in this precarious work, like around, like around the world. So they are the pressure of the people is very, very high, they are, have fears, they have, there's, there's an environment uh, where, but it makes it very, very difficult for organizing people also in Germany.